picked up this HC94B uh, boom recently. Uh, good stands these are. They've obviously got the uh, stilt base, which I'm obsessed with. Um, it's got a long boom arm and the counterweight. It's uh, fully adjustable, both sides of the stand, and it's really robust. There's a, probably a few issues with it, looking at it. There's washers missing, which makes me feel there's probably something wrong in this area. The washer's bent. We've got a bit of wobble in here, because I don't know if you can see, but the split pin is sticking out and not coming out this side, so we need to repair that. This uh, wing nut is not original, which uh, makes me wonder if there's some, a problem in the middle of it. It's very common for them to uh, cross thread or, or the gears to, to, to wear away. The boom arm itself is a bit rusty and needs a good clean up. And the counterweight obviously needs repainting. The only other issue I found is this tube here. It's obviously had a clamp around it at some point. It's dented the tube. You can see it around here and I think it probably goes a bit lower. So we'll see if we can make that look a bit nicer. Uh, but other than that, we'll get started and uh, try and get all the repairs done. Got these concert toms that I've got to restore as well at some point. I'm gonna get these out of the way. First job is to straighten this washer up. That is very wonky donkey. The only other issue is that it's really sharp, so just take the sharp edges off. This nut here is a bit too far gone, so what I'll do is I'll get a, a stainless one and face it off and replace that. So, as I thought, this wing nut had no washer on it, but I'm not sure if you can see the thread, but uh, it's, there's no thread in there. The back side of it's all right, but the, the, the most of the thread's gone in there, and that's probably why they took the washer off, so it just engaged a little bit more. So, I need to swap that out. The actual screw is fine. I suspect in my box of tricks I'll have a spare. Straight away, look. and the thread in that looks all good. So we'll just swap, swap the bad one out and put this one on. That's an easy fix. So the next problem, it's a split pin. Like I say, it's not all the way through and we've got a bit of a wobble on the, the actual shaft there. So I'll, I'll knock this pin out, probably put some PTFE or some thread locket and then uh, bang the pin back in. Now the split pin's removed, I'll, uh, I'll clean up the, uh, the actual boom arm. You can see the, the rust spots here. And what I'll do is I'll use some aluminium on that and then some metal polish. You can see that side compared to that side. Boom's now lovely and clean. So now I'll put some thread lock on here, make sure the holes align and then bang the split pin pack through and then that should be solid. So we're aligned because you can see the punch going through. And now the split pins flush both sides. I'll now give this a damn good clean and then get some spray on it. It's difficult to see in there, but the thread's gone. And it looks pretty bad on both sides, so I'll hella coil that out.
this is an old superstar screw and I would like to use an original, but I haven't got any. But I was thinking the cross threaded one off this part, I could reuse that. I could use an M8 screw and put it in through this side, machine the back face and actually turn that into a screw. So what I'll do is I'll machine this screw down so it's flush and look, so it'll look nice on the end there. We'll lock tight that into there and it should create a screw similar to this, but it will look original. I'll machine the end down to match this, so it sort of like pinches against the shaft, you can see it there. And then there's enough good thread left in the back of this nut to create a bolt. And I'll just um, lock tight that in and that, that, that'll work nicely. So we've now got a wing nut and a machine face and it looks really nice. We'll just let the glue go off and then we'll put it back in. Next up are these dents in the tube. I mean, they're only the first sort of 150 mil, I should think. So what I'm gonna do is, the other end's lovely. So I'm gonna knock, knock the um, lever lock off and flip the tube around. And then uh, the bad part of the tube will be most of the time in the stand. So you can see the, the bad part there. And we'll just turn it around. So now the top of the stand looks brand new and then the rough bits all down here. The counterweight's just drying off. I've got all my parts ready now. And here's the base. So this was the dented tube, the bad bits at the bottom, and it can still go that high without seeing any dents. So that's a nice little quick repair that. And you can see this, this is the part where this goes in and you can see where the teeth mesh, which adjusts your angle of uh, your, your boom. And uh, this side where you screw in, there's never any need to put a lot of force into it because with all that surface area on there, as soon as you've got that where you need it, you only have to pinch it up and that is never ever going to move. It's such high quality. Next up, we have to put the spring in, then this part, which meshes to that, and it's secured with my new modified uh, screw. It looks really quite nice. Also need a washer. So with that on there, now secure. So now we can do the boom side, which is this section. Again, there's a spring that goes on here and that sits in there. So we put the spring on first. And this is secured with this wing nut. That fits on there. Whoops, get that over the screw, that on there. Next we fit the boom in, and this screw here obviously secures the rotation of the angle you want and where, where you want to actually put the boom. And then like I say, this side of the adjustment gives you your angle. Next up, we've got the tilter. So you've got a coach bolt that goes in from this side, then a tapered spring, and the, the smaller diameter goes in this side, then the clamp, the washer, and then the replacement wing nut. Next up, we have this part, and I machined a new nut for it. So that will screw onto there, like so, and I'll lock it off with a spanner. My shifter, lock that off, 
then that can then go into there. That's now secure and looks much better than the rusty old nut that was on there. And we've got our washer. Then finally we have the felts and the cymbal topper. So I've put the stand back together. All the issues are now fixed. So the wash is straight. There's no movement in this, this section at all now. Obviously we've replaced the wing nut. This assembly's had all the threads sorted out, so that's all good now. Counterweight's all cleaned up and painted. And I've sorted out the dents in the tube. The threads in the base are all good. Absolutely over the moon with how that uh, screw's turned out. Just to demonstrate how adjustable this stand is. I mean, I know you're never going to probably use a situation like this, but if you're on a small stage, you never know, it could come in handy. The other good thing about it is the sheer height you can get out of it. This cost me 95 quid, and granted I've had to spend a couple of hours sorting it all out, but if you compare it to, say, a, a newer Road Pro with a weighted boom, you're looking at probably 120-odd probably quid. Then the Pearl ones or the DW Heavy Duty stands, you can, you can spend a couple of hundred quid quite easily. So, I mean, this is 30 years old, and now it'll probably last another 30 years, and it looks way cooler than anything new, and it's probably stronger than anything new. So I would definitely go for the old vintage stuff myself.